The Gregorian calendar is an irregular measure of time, but I would not be able to know that had I not discovered with my husband the existence of the Maya count of days. And knowing the Mayan time cycle, I could begin to understand that the current Gregorian calendar that is now the standard for the whole planet was actually an instrument of control. And actually the Gregorian calendar was codified in 1582 by Pope Gregory the 13th. And it's very interesting when you begin to think about the fact that we're all living on the Pope's calendar. And we, you know, we don't think about it, but we are, we're using a calendar, the Gregorian calendar, that constantly tells us uh, that life is not going anywhere. We're just on this ongoing revolutions year after year after year. And so it, it, it tells us a, a world view where life has no purpose and it, it, the creation has no purpose. Evolution has no purpose. It's just about this endless repeated cycle of the earth around the sun that the Mayan calendar is a textbook, it is a, it is a map, it is a way to know who we are, it is a way to understand the energy that is about who we are and how we relate to both the earth and to the sun. But the Maya had a concept of the Zavuya, which is to actually circulate time both from the past and the future into the ever-present now which is actually where we all dwell. We, in a physical body, hold a time-space point which is always based in the now. So the Maya had a profound understanding of how to measure time in the now. The Mayan calendar is organized very differently. Uh, it's fundamentally a calendar that describes alternating spiritual energies, like archetypes coming in from the cosmos that uh, drive evolution. Because they were synchronized with natural time. Natural time that brings into your life respect, love, tolerance, and understanding of the evolution of time but as consciousness, because time is of consciousness. That is the key. That is the beauty of the Mayan calendar. And they develop this system to awareness, the important to understand natural cycles. The Gregorian calendar is linear time. It's a calendar that brings us to future, into planning, into trying to control time. The sacred calendar is a perspective where we are living within time as, a, as part of life. You know, ego has always been a fiction of convenience, uh, but at some point uh, in the great cycles of time, hum humanity lost their connection with the true eternal consciousness, which is our birthright. It, it resides at the core of our hearts. And when that connection got severed, then ego sort of got deputized to take over that function. And then things kind of just went haywire from there. So the core teaching is about right relationship with the true eternal self and how at the end of the age we can facilitate that reconnection in our own hearts. I think between the two worlds, we have to find that balance and that peace. As we go into the future, we can't forget the past. So just look at it. I mean, there's the, the, the scale, the balance, the yin and yang, the light and dark. We need to create that balance between the two. For those who will read and understand 
it is a key to understand who we are and how we need to interrelate with each other. For whatever has to do with spiritual evolution, then it is the Mayan calendar that, that holds the higher truth. <laughs>